Hey guys, it's Chris from Tech Takedown, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Elgato Game Capture HD. Now for those of you who do not know what the Elgato Game Capture HD is, it is a device that allows for you to capture gameplay from your console such as your PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. It records in full 1080p and is compatible with both Mac and Windows computers, but one of the primary reasons this capture card stood out to me is that it works with an HDMI cord. Coming from a previous capture card that only allowed component cables, the Elgato HD Game Capture sounded like a good switch. The capture card itself is very sleek and simple, and it's also a great size that can fit in the palm of your hand. Here, I show you that it's almost the same size as my iPhone 5. I also compared it with my old capture card, and as you can see, there is a huge difference in size. If you look on the right side of the capture card, you will see an HDMI out port as well as a mini USB port. On the left side, you have an AV in port, which is either for the component adapter or PS3 cable, and then there is an HDMI in port. In the box, you're going to get a USB cable that runs from the capture card to your computer and it also powers the device. It comes with a single HDMI cord that is meant to plug into the back of your TV and then into the capture card. Then there is this cable for the PlayStation 3 users. The right side goes into the AV in on the capture card and then the left side goes into the back of your PlayStation 3. The reason they include this cable is because the PS3 does not allow HDMI in like the Xbox does. Then there is the component adapter for Xbox 360 users. The left side goes into the AV in on the capture card, and the right side you connect to the Xbox 360 component cables. Now if you're like me and want to use the least amount of cords possible, I do not use the component adapter for my Xbox 360. Instead I purchased another HDMI since this capture card only comes with one, and I use that instead. Now the capture card is very easy to hook up. On the left side, I'm going to plug in my HDMI that I purchased. If you don't have that, you are either using the PS3 cable or the component adapter. Once your cable is plugged in, you are then going to take the other side and plug it into your console. So for my case, I'm plugging the other side of my HDMI into my Xbox 360. On the other side of the capture card, you are going to plug in the USB cable, one side going into the capture card and the other side going into your computer. Then you're going to plug in the HDMI that was included with the device and on the other end, you're going to plug the HDMI into your TV. When all of that is completed, the game capture should look something like this and you are now ready to go record your gameplay. To record, you use the software Game Capture HD that you can download for free online. As you can see under device, I have my Elgato Game Capture HD and it is recording in 1080p. By clicking this button right here, it will open up the capture card settings. First is your capture, so I have my input device on Xbox 360, you can change the quality. Then if you go over to picture, you can change the brightness, contrast, saturation, change everything to your liking, and then with audio, you can change the gain to go up or down. So you're allowed to mess around with the settings so that you can get the perfect picture, but below that we have game audio, which will allow you to either lower or raise the volume when recording. Below game audio, if you have a microphone connected, you can also do a live comment which seems to be a big thing going around on YouTube. There is also a live streaming tab where you are able to attach your Twitch account and you can live stream directly from this program. And below live streaming there is tags which allows you to set the title, the game you're playing, description, and more for your stream. Another great feature is known as flashback recording and what this is is from the moment you have opened this program it has been storing whatever has been happening on your console in its memory. It's not necessarily recording but it allows for you to go back in time whether it was an hour ago and record something that you may have not planned to. So here I was playing NHL 13 and I wasn't expecting to get in a fight but since I did and I wasn't recording I can go all the way back in the timeline, find the correct spot and then just press the big red button to record. Once you finished recording a specific segment it will clear everything that was in the flashback memory and start restoring it from whatever is on your console screen at the moment. So you will see that once the fight is over I will press the big red button to stop recording and that will clear the memory of everything that was in my flashback recording and start storing new memory of whatever you're doing now until you record again. By clicking on the edit tab you are even able to edit the clip you just recorded whether you want to make it shorter or cut something out. From there you can even directly share it to social networks such as YouTube. Facebook and Twitter. Here is some recorded gameplay so you guys can get an overall feeling of how the quality is. I personally am very satisfied with the quality of this device and the device as a whole. I love the size of it, how it can fit in my palm, it makes it very portable and it's really easy to hook up. And I also love the software that it comes with, it makes it really easy to record and it comes with some great features. So if you guys are looking for a great capture card or looking to upgrade to the next best capture card, definitely check out Elgato Game Capture HD, it's a great product and guys it's been Chris from Tech Take down. I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll catch you in the next one.